Hey you guys, it's Matt and welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Now if you guys saw the video that I made a couple weeks ago, I showed you guys how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator for your PC. Well, some people wanted its successor, the Nintendo DS, which was also a really fantastic handheld at the time. I played it a lot myself, personally, so I always wanted to see if I could somehow play them on my PC. Since I have a lot of DS games left over and of course my DS kind of fried over the years. So if that happened to you, Feel free to go ahead and play them on the PC, and I'll show you guys how to do it right now. But keep in mind, though, it's doing for everybody. So, this particular video is going to be, like, for educational purposes only. Don't be a pirate. Don't be stealing stuff that doesn't belong to you. Anything after this video is completely on you. We do not condone piracy. So, that being said, let's go ahead and open up our browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer, because... Why not? And we're going to go to this website right here, www.coolrong.com. Alright, now these guys here are pretty chill, no pun intended, because the emulator and the games that we want are going to be right here. Now a little ad might be playing here on the side, but just try to ignore it, because, you know, this is how these guys get their money, so kudos to them. Anyways, so go ahead and scroll over to the emulator tab. And go all the way down to where it says Nintendo DS. Click on that. Alright, now we're gonna click on the first one because it has the most stars. It's called this. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's like Desume? Desume? I don't know. We'll just go ahead and click on it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. Hit add plays. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can go ahead and pause the video or whatever you have to do or just let it play. And right here, we're going to go ahead and go to the alternative download link. And we're going to click on that. Okay, now another ad is going to play before we get our file. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this one play, pause the video for a little bit, and I'll come back to you whenever it's done. Okay, now we have two chances. Download our file or save it to the Dropbox. If you guys have a Dropbox, which I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do, you can go ahead and save it there. Or if you just want to download the file around here, go ahead, because this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click Download or File, and then you have two choices right here. You can either open or you can save it. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save, and if you click on this little arrow right here, if you guys use an Explorer, you could click either Save or Save As, or Save and Open. So I'll just go ahead and click Save As, and... I'll go ahead and drop it go ahead and drop it onto my desktop just so I'll know where it's being saved. So go ahead and save that. And then you can either open it or whatever you want because it's already done. So we're just gonna go ahead and exit that for now because there's something else we gotta do. We already have the emulator, but we're not quite done yet. Because now, you guessed it, we need to get the game. So the DS has a pretty wide variety of video games that we could actually choose, but my all-time personal favorite that I had, this is actually the very first DS game I ever played, and I think a lot of us played this too, New Super Mario Bros. So basically what you guys are going to do is, uh, you can go ahead and filter out, like over here to where it says ROM files, and you can view all the DS games that they have right there. But if you already know what game you want, you can go ahead and click it on the search bar, like I did, and go ahead and press go. Alright, now as you can see right here, New Super Mario Bros. Go ahead and click on that. If an ad starts playing, go ahead and let it play. But before we do that, just scroll down. Okay, now just like we did with the emulator, we're going to do the exact same stuff. Click on the alternative download link. Wait for the end to play. And there we go. We can go ahead and click download our file. Okay, and we can go ahead and do the same thing. Save as. I'm gonna drop it on my desktop once again. So, go ahead and click save. Alright, now it's already saved, let's go ahead and exit out of this, exit out of that, and just go ahead and exit out of our browsers in general. So, 
we already did that. Now we have these two little folders right here. This one's the emulator, and this one's the game. So, what we can do here is, we can go ahead and right click, and assuming that you guys have 7 zip or WinRAR, you could click open archive, extract files, whatever you want to do. So I'll just go ahead and extract here. Okay, now, you guys are going to have like a bunch of little, you guys are going to have a bunch of junk on here, but all you got to do is just press control, click on all these that you don't need, especially the readme files, you don't have to read those at all. And uh, you could go ahead and click on uh, this one too, because you don't need this anymore. And you could press shift delete, so you delete these permanently without having to send them to the recycle bin. Or you can just go ahead and send them to the recycle bin if you want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and permanently delete them. Now, this is our emulator right here. This is what we're going to use. So, now we have the game. Now, now I know what you're thinking. What are we going to do with the game? Well, we're going to do the exact same thing. Go to 7 zip, extract here. Wait for it to extract. Alright. Now, if you get another readme file, you can go ahead and shift delete that, delete, and you could shift delete this one too. Alrighty, so we got the game, and we got this. Now if you guys want to be uh, kind of organized, you can go ahead and press new folder, and just title it Nintendo DS, something that you'll remember. And go ahead and drag these two folders in here. Alright, now open up the DS folder. And here it is. So we got the little emulator. We could open it up. And this is what it's gonna look like, but we could we could change the view, we change the window size to one times 1.5, whatever you want, always on top left down. We could change the screen gap because the DS used two screens instead of one, one of them being the touch screen. We could also set the config, we could set up the frame skip different emulation settings, 3D settings, sound, firmware, and pretty much like a bunch of other stuff. It's actually a really sweet emulator and I love it a lot. You could also put cheats if you guys use Action Replay like I did for a lot of games, especially Pokemon. Um, you got the website, forums, wiki, pretty much whatever you want. And also on config, you could also, there's also a controller configuration. If you guys have a PlayStation 3 controller, Xbox 360, uh, maybe a GameCube that you hook up to a USB adapter, a Nintendo 64 controller maybe. Whatever kind of controller you want, you can go ahead and configure it. So if you guys wanted to, I don't know, play uh, New Super Mario Bros with an arcade stick, you could do that now. Now, to play our game. Go ahead and click File, and open ROM. Alright, now we're going to go to the desktop, and we're going to click on our DS folder, and voila! Our game is right there. You go ahead and click open, and the game will begin. You can exit out of this if you want to, and here it is. And it looks really good. Alrighty then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to get a Nintendo DS emulator on Windows 7. And uh, don't forget to check out our millions of other computer tutorials and a bunch of other emulators slash gaming tutorials also. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. And uh, thank you for watching Health and Computer Repair. Don't forget to subscribe to us and go ahead and like our videos because every like means a lot to us. We cannot express how much you guys mean to us because... You guys mean the world to us and everything here. So, on behalf of Hilton's Computer Repair, thanks to y'all, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you on the flip side.